Afghanistan has seen 49 new cases in the last 24 hours. The Afghan government has extended the lockdown in Kabul for another two weeks as the country struggles with limited health care systems, Medicare. Help is reaching from other countries as well. India has aided the shipment of hydroxychloroquine tablets and other medical aid to Afghanistan along with 50 million tons of wheat to the country. But Kabul is doing its own bit too. It witnessed a ribbon-cutting ceremony of a factory that will produce N95 masks and PPE suits for medical personnel. Here's a report by Vion correspondent Mustafa Kazemi from Kabul. Just as the outbreak of coronavirus in Afghanistan keeps on gaining day by day, the health ministry says that 714 people have so far been contaminated and have contracted the virus with 23 deaths and more than 40 people having recovered from the illness. Here in a factory today, the health ministry inaugurated a process that produces N95 masks in Afghanistan domestically, but with international standards. On the side of that, the same factory will produce PPE kits for the Afghan medical personnel who are fighting against COVID-19 across the country. This factory will produce at least 10,000 PPE kits and N95 masks per day for the Afghan Ministry of Health and other needed clinics where COVID-19 patients are treated. The health minister says he is expecting $50 million saving after buying and purchasing products produced domestically. Mustafa Kazemi for Wian in Afghanistan.